Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. I'm um, just going to go and give the rest of this bag of feed to the chickens and we're going to check the sap buckets and see how they're doing. Come this way, you. Come on. Hey, go! There you go, guys. Oh guys, the feeder's a little low. Rooster! Here guys. Come on. Rooster, come on. Well, I'm going to walk away and hopefully Rooster will jump up himself. I put one back in the coop, and then Raven came out. All right, guys, we're going to leave the uh, door open. Hopefully, Raven won't jump out. And we're going to try and uh, get Rooster in by going around the coop. And then we'll close it up, or we'll just go check on the buckets while Rooster's... Uh, Walking around outside. There's Rooster. Come on, Rooster. Well, that's exactly what I was hoping was going to happen. I'm going to give him a minute to eat, and then I'll... I'm going to give Rooster a minute to eat, and then I'll open up the door so the rest of them can get up in there. This one looks like it's getting heavier. Nothing still. Oh, 
Ooh, this one's got a decent amount, guys. Got a little bit in this one, about a quarter of a bucket. This one's got about another quarter of a bucket. I don't know if you can see it in there. So not a lot. This one up here, I'm doubting, I doubt we have anything. It hasn't given us anything all year. Nothing again. Go ahead and check this bucket here. This bucket actually feels like it's got some weight to it. So we got a half a bucket here. And we're coming up to the last bucket. That bucket's got just under a half. This year has not been a really good year for the uh, maple production. That's kind of the way it goes, you know. Some years you'll have a good year, some, time, some years it won't be so good. This year I'll probably get about two to three pints. Um, I did a boil down last night, and, or yesterday I boiled down, and I got about a pint out of that. And that was off of about seven and a half gallons of sap. Um, which, looking at what we just went and looked at, we got about another seven and a half gallons, so I should get another pint or so out of that. And then Dave over at Oak Knob Farm, um, Dave over at Oak Knob Farm has, uh, hey, cut it up. Do a video here, guys. Jeez. Anyway, Dave over at Oak Knob Farm has told me that whatever he gets from now to the end of the season, he'll uh, let me go ahead and have. So he'll give me a call and let me know when that's ready to pick up. And then I'll do the final boil. And I'm hoping I'll be able to do the final boil this year in the dryer evaporator. I just still have to go ahead and test that and um, check to see how well it's, uh, it, it works. And test that with uh, some pans of water first just to see where the smoke goes around it. So the upcoming video, guys, that you're gonna see after this one is gonna be the one of my finishing up the dryer, turning it into an evaporator. Unfortunately, you know, really didn't need it this year, but at least I'll have it for future years if we get a really good one. Um, and we'll go ahead and test that here in a couple days with the water and just make sure it's working just so that you guys can see how, how well it did come out. Um, but again, guys, I thank you guys for coming along. Have a great day, and remember to click that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And if you guys could, go ahead and share this with people that you know that may like the content. 